two teams looking starved for a win. And we are set to go. And we can officially say game on. Scores! The captain delivers! I gotta feel bad for the defender here. They're trying to wrap him up, but he's so agile. He's got such great moves, great hands that he walks the defender eventually and then zips it by the goaltender for a beauty. The Whalers couldn't ask for a better start tonight, Ray. They barely got the anthem singer off the ice and this thing's in the net. What a start. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Hartford's got it along the wall. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Hartford's got the puck. Takes the puck behind the net. Ready to get that significant other in your life, or maybe that child who's been waiting all their lives to get that first jersey? Team Store's got you covered. Visit them online. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Hartford's up one zip. Puck scooped up by Horvat. Oh, what a collision with that hit! Known for this, he doesn't make any mistake. There's the opportunity to lay a body check out, and he's right on it. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Gilmore. Taken by Blake. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Moves the puck behind wow. the net. They score! And they double it up! The momentum in a game is something. You can't touch it, you can't see it, but you can feel it. You get one, you get another one. Now you're rolling. You want to use the player in front of the net as a screen if you can. This time, it's just about perfect. I don't think the goaltender ever picks it up. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Hartford's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Gilmore's won the draw inside the neutral zone. In close! Gives them nothing in front. Hartford's got the puck against the wall. Nystrom's got it in the defensive end. The Islanders played along the wing. Centering feed. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know, he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. Gretzky's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Slides it across to Goring. Well, penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle and here's the call. Oh, you could see that coming from a mile away. Way too long a run up to the hit. That's boarding. kill of the game for this group here and we know their penalty kills rank toward the bottom of the league but this group's got a lot of confidence a lot of energy they just might be able to shut down this power play unit and as the puck is dropped they win the draw here inside the defensive zone Hartford's on the attack backhander gets a skate on that one to deny them he's sharp on that one nowhere to go for the puck And he elects to play the puck. He got all of that one. Yeah, and it was that guy. He's picking himself and his stick up off the ice. And now it's grabbed by Medano. Puck picked up by Dobson. Good hit on the play. From their own end, and they'll get a fresh set of legs out there on this man advantage. The Islanders gain the zone. And he slides it quickly to Ganey. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. There's a solid collision. Picked up along the boards by Doughty. The Whalers will play it in their own end. And they clear that puck. Moves it quickly over to Dobson. Takes the feed from his own end. Trying to clear. 
And called for the offside. We're going to face off. And the challenge is accepted. Sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. That bout was an old-fashioned punch-in-the-face contest, and I don't think the home side liked the results very much. Gilmore is ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Puck grab by Trottier. Here's a chance in front, and that's stopped. The Whalers get a hold of the puck under man. Gilmore's got it across the line. Battling for it along the boards. Blake's up and ready to join the play. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. To his teammate! Oh, what a blown opportunity with that stick. I would lose my mind. You get the your one chance maybe to score. Now you don't even have a stick. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. New York's moving it into the offensive end. And a little physical there with that collision. Feeds it wow. on over to Gilmore. Slides the puck ahead to Lee. He's struggling to get to the bench now, James. And pretty clearly he's going to need some help from the training staff. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Nystrom. Oh, hello! What a collision! Yeah, that's not a collision. That's one player delivering a solid body check to another. He's known for this. If you have your head down for just a second, luck out. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Takes it into the slot! New York's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Islanders working through center. And some textbook body contact there. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Goring. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next right here. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Islanders are going to wear themselves out if they don't get control of the puck pretty soon. They've had no possession time virtually at all, and they're trailing in this game. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Whalers are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Gretzky's won the draw inside his own end. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Handles the puck from the left side. Don't puts it in the back of the net, and there's number 20. You can appreciate these moments. Yeah, these are good numbers. I'll tell you, you get past 20, and you know you've had a good season. New York's got new life here in this second period, right? It's amazing what a goal does. The energy on the bench changes. Guys can't wait to get on for their next shift. A chance in front denies him in close. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Centers can't set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Tying up his opponent. Another crash! No surprise here, James. He's been doing this since about 7 o'clock tonight, time after time. And he regains control of the puck. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, a whole lot of truculence with that. That hit was delivered with intent. That's not to rub somebody out of the play. That's to send a message. And he coughs it up with the pass. Nice zone entry from the right side. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Pinned up along the boards. 
Takes the feed. The Islanders played along the boards. Hartford's got to hold him in against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Gilmore. Skate save! Hits him right into the boards. Ah, that's still smart. You can know it's coming, but the boards are solid. That always rattles you. Nystrom's moving it ahead. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. Here comes the call. I'm not sure this is part of the comeback plan, James, but the penalty killers are going to have to do their job and try and waste this penalty away. Hartford sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Key for any team on the power play is to get control of the puck first. So we'll look at the faceoff, and this power play at the very least has to generate a little momentum. It's their first crack at it tonight. Hartford's looking to break out, and that's broken up. Smart defensive play there. They dump it into the opposite end. Handles the pass from the right side. Moves into the slot. Couldn't make that one happen. Sean. Oh, what a stop with the stick. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. And he takes the pass. Fails to find the open man. The Islanders gain possession of the defensive zone. Hartford's got it behind the net. Moves it to Nylander. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Quick pass to Sutter. Oh, that hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as My hard as he could. Goodness. The Whalers gain control of the puck. And he takes the feed. Tries to the crease. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. The Islanders take possession here in the open ice. Puck scooped up by Pellick. Power play set to expire. One last chance here, Ray. Yeah, quick entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. LaFontaine's ready to go. The Islanders have possession shorthanded. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. It's pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. Turn that chance aside. Those bang-bang plays are just that. So quick. Puck on the stick, puck off the stick. The goalie's got to be in the right position, or they're not going to make that quick save. And a little body contact on that play. Thunderous collision along the wall. From the back of the cage with the puck. Hartford's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed up ahead. The Islanders have it from their own end. Quick feed to LaFontaine. Taken along the wall by Howe. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Hartford's got the puck along the wall. Gives him a jolt with that hit. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Boom! What a hit! And man, James, we're feeling that up here. What a solid body check delivered there. He's known for this, and he doesn't miss this opportunity. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Here we go, put up a shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? He scores! He can really shoot the puck, but gets a little lucky here as that puck sits flat for him, so he can really rip it. Hartford's goal here early in the third has now given themselves a two-goal lead. 
coaches are pretty happy with this start. You come out of the intermission leading by one, and you tell your team, get after it, be aggressive. They were, and now they lead by two. Scores! And they go back to back to light the lamp. The momentum in the game changes fast. You get one, now you know you've got a leg up. You want to get another if you can. They get them quickly, and now they've really put them back on their heels. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Whalers are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they've built such a large margin. You can use your whole bench and coast it in. The Islanders win the faceoff. Nice bank pass off the boards. Here's a short pass to Trotchie. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Trotchie's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Hartford's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Takes the puck at the point. Feeds it down low. Oh, that had some hot sauce on that hit. Pronger's lugging the puck. The Whalers carry it along the wall. Here's a backhand. Score! Oh, oh, the big ring attacks. Wow, that's a terrible horn on that ring, James. It sounds like a kid's toy. This is not kids' play. Look at how strong to the front of the net. Keeps the defender on his back and then puts it away. He starts driving the net, and it's like the same old movie. He's known for this, yet they can't stop him. Drive the net, protect the puck, finish the play. New York's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And a good, solid hit on that play. From the point, they take control of it. Turns them away! Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Ovechkin's getting handed a game misconduct here. The Islanders once again send out their power play unit. Hey, it doesn't really matter what the power play's done before you. You gotta have a short memory. What you have now is a power play right in front of you. Make sure you're focused in on what you're trying to accomplish. And he slides it quickly to Dobson. Oh, how do you not convert those chances? Oh, he's going to be disappointed. I mean, that's a great A scoring chance. This doesn't turn into a shot on net. Here he is in close. And finally they respond with a goal. They just haven't been able to get anything going. And the more they try to score, the more they give up. More defensively, they've given up a boatload of goals. The Islanders still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Things start to get a little physical out there. Hartford's got the puck in the defensive end. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Schneider. Oh, he rocked him! And now he moves it quickly to Curry. Cutting to the front of the net! Great save from in tight. That's a great A chance, and the goaltender beats the shooter with the glove. Dead center turned away. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Islanders have it against the wall. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Really hard to win when your penalty killers are on the ice more than anybody else. That's another penalty for them. Out of this setup, you've got three shooters. One on each top of circle, one dead center. You have to stack those forwards in front of the net to try and get rebounds. Hartford's got it in the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. Here's a shot! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. They score! Once a delayed penalty arm goes up, it seems like the defending team just fell back on their heels. They didn't do anything. 
something really tough. Slow down the opposition. New York still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. The Whalers win possession here in the open ice. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Sutter. Coming to the slot. Stones him in front. Delayed penalty looming. Nystrom's on the attack in the offensive zone. Great read on the block. Sutter feed. will continue for the rest of the evening. He's just been ruled out by the training staff. Thanks, Ray. We'll see how this impacts the game now going forward. Heck, has won the draw. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Here's a blast. And that's off target as it hits a body. Quick feed to Pekka. The Islanders take it across the blue line. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Oh, what a as he gets a piece of it with his toe. Smothered that in close chance. Taken by Pekka. Come on with the stop. Burns plays it now. And he takes the dish. Takes it to the net. Decides to think about it. Directs it on over to Horvath. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Penalties keep coming. The penalty killers have to go out and do the job yet again. Such pressure on these killers. Esposito's good at covering the net and making himself look as big as possible while down in the butterfly position, guys. That's his butterfly effect, zone ability, and it's what helps him come up with the big stop. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. From their own end, try to kickstart this power play. Tremendous bone-crushing hit. That hurts here. You could hear it clean down on the ice. That was a solid, devastating hit. Gilmore's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Hartford's won it. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Scores! A shorthanded goal! Well, you're just trying to kill the penalty off. This is terrific work as they take advantage of a little bit of a bobble and they go ahead and capitalize shorthanded. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Hartford's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. And now it's grabbed by Blake. Pass broken up. Look at this. It's a two-on-one. And he makes the save. Esposito's getting bailed out by his team tonight. He's not had a good night. His save percentage is poor. He got rocked again. He's got to get his head up here. They're going to be carting him off the ice. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Nystrom. Off the post. New York's fired a couple or three shots off the goal post tonight. Seems like it's happening all the time. They can't get about. Made the stop on the play. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Oh, nice save right there. And some physicality here. Gilmore's got it along the wing. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Two on one, what an opportunity here. And makes the save. Denies him again. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. He scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Oh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. New York's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, 
Maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. Moves it quickly over to Thompson. Oh, that's right off the mask. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. Shanahan's got the puck. Nine minutes, 58 seconds. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Moves it to Gillies. New York's got the puck. That's not going to fool him. Hartford's got a hold of the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Moves inside! Scores! The power play cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. New York's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Hartford's got possession while undermanned. Tries to feed it over to McKinnis. Pass out front. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers! I'm not sure how that got into the net. That thing's bouncing all over the place. Not even really a shot, but he'll take it. It's in the net now. Hartford's got to be feeling good about themselves up by two late in this third. Well, you'd never know it by looking at the coach. He looks still so stressed. Man, do these guys ever relax? Nice job tying up his opponent. Quick pass to Ferraro. And that pass goes off a stick. And now he moves it to Schneider. From the slot, his shot, he scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. The Islanders are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, right? They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you, you run out of time. Hartford's won the draw in the neutral zone. Drives to the sweet spot, scores! Shorty. Oh, they do it again. Their power play has been terrible, and the shorthanded group has taken advantage of them all game long. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Whalers now with that two-goal lead. How does that change things here in this third period? Well, now as it gets late, James, they can really manage the puck well. Don't have to take any chances with it. Shot! And he puts that one aside with ease. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Thunderous hit! Oh, my! Yeah, that one hurt me over here. That is an enormous hit. He closed the gap in a hurry. And that's turned aside. This is a tough save that the goalie makes here because he's driving to the net, pushing people. Scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. The Islanders have closed the gap here in the back half of the third. Still time to go, but now they've given themselves a fighting chance. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Can't find his man. Quick feed to Gillies. Nice pass. And there's the save. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Angles it over to Ferrara. Here's a chance. My goodness, what a stop with the glove. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two-on-one. Well, who needs a power play when they're shorthanded like this? This has been amazing. What an effort shorthanded by them as they've capitalized down a man a couple of times tonight. Hey, we get a good look here where the man advantage break is cultivated. Now they've got it clean in. They don't make a mistake, and the goalie has no chance as it's in the net. Kings at the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Islanders win it. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space in center. Officials stop the play, finally allowing the injured player to get off the ice.
Schneider's still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Gilmore's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Here's a change. Hartford's won the draw. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Rocks him on the play. Slides the puck over. Here's a short pass to Lee. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. As he slides in the butterfly, he's in great shape to make this save. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The frustration is just seeping through this team now as they take yet another penalty. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Gretzky's been engaged and was able to jump in on the offense, guys. I've really liked his game tonight, so I'm going to give him the edge here. Moves it quickly over to Sutter, and he shut the door on that last play. And that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They have done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Drives it to the crease. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. He's down on the ice. Their trainer is already standing on top of the boards. It looks like he's going to come over and help them as soon as they blow this dead. He took a pretty solid jolt there, James. Uh, we're going to have to check in on him in a second. Horvat's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The frozen miss gets dropped and we are back underway here. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Ferraro's gonna play it against the half wall. Hartford's got it in their own zone. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Looks to get the puck over to Gillies. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Driving right to the front! Vancouver's up next on the schedule. Always a tough test, it feels like, in this league, isn't it? Yeah, the prep will go once you get past this current game. Some guys don't want to know who's next. Some guys want to know everything in advance. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Poked away in the neutral zone by Gilmore. Good stand-up hit on the play. Across the line along the left wall. And makes the routine save. Nice feed from the goaltender. Lays the body into that play. Both teams back to even strength, and after giving up a short-handed goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit would probably sooner forget. Well, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. And that's intercepted by LaFontaine. Nystrom's taking it from his own end. Centering feed! Oh, and he comes up with a stop! And now he angles it across to Stamkos. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Whalers look to start the transition game. And there's the whistle icing the call. Schneider's not going to be able to return to the game. Just got word from the PR department. He's out for the night. All right, thanks very much for the update, Mr. Ferraro. And we'll see how things are impacted here with the line juggling going forward. not going to escape the booze tonight. They're all over him after he caused the injury earlier on in that controversial play. The Islanders take it across the line. Hartford's got possession of the puck. New York's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. And there it is, the empty net goal. Well, that'll put a bowl on this one. A solid performance and... Once you punch in that empty net, or everybody can take a little bit of a breath. Hartford's added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're going to pressure you.
you, you put it away with an easy one into the empty net. Unable to reach that one. Slides it diagonally to Horvath. And he costs it up with the pass. Made the stop on the play. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. The Whalers gain control of the puck against the wall. Scores! Is that, is that 50 now in the year? Yeah, good math there, James. I thought when you got your shoes off the count that we were in trouble, <laughs> but you got it right. Always nitpicking my math. Not bad year, though. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Goes right to the crease! How did he stop that one? Oh! What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. The sorest. Oh, uh, you got it. Truculent? Yeah, I know you were ready to fire that up. That is a big hit. And I knew you were digging for that one. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Hartford's winning ways are showing no end here, Ray. No, they're not, James. I mean, I, I love the way they're playing, and when you watch the play, it seems like they're going to win all the time. They have total belief in their team. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray. I'm James. Good night.